This is a weekly meeting of Redeeming the Time Ministry. We are going into the service now. Join us as we pray sing as Mama comes. You will never regret it. God bless you. Don't forget to like and share this video. We make it that today's meeting, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit will be there, will be here and be available to speak to us. We make a decree that the hand of the Lord will not be short concerning us, and the voice of the Lord will speak expressly to us and our needs. We make a decree that as we gather and pray today, every week prayer altar will receive life. We make a decree that the hand of Jehovah will uphold us and strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. But I thank you for those that are just joining for the first time. Ancient of days, King of glory, we ask, O oh God, that you impart strongly on them and meet them at the point of their needs. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God Almighty, we pray for those of us that come every week. Every week we are always in your presence. Father, Lord in heaven, we ask, O oh God, that the reward of being in your presence will be upon us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And that we will not lack anything good. We will not lose your presence. When men see us, they will say that indeed they are serving a living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I sincerely want to go straight to the message, but uh, the Holy Spirit wants us to worship a little. So as we are worshiping, I want you to focus Focus. Focus in the on the worship. And as you focus, the Almighty God will reach out to you in Jesus' name. Sarah or whoever music means minister in the house, please just bless us with some 10 minutes of worship. I like you all to align your spirits. So let's give it to Worship for ten minutes. On Oluwa, 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 Olukore Tinito, Nigo, Aye, Olukore Tini, Oluwa, Oluwa. Oh, you the job I read Last week we talked about what aspect of altars. We talked about negative altars and positive altars. Today we are going to look at what can make your altars weak. And I remember that we have said altars are a place of sacrifice. Altars is where humanity and divinity meets. I remember we have said that there are trafficking on altars, whether positive or negative. There's usual spiritual traffic on altars. I also remember that our altars are elevated. They're not just elevated. They are in reverence to 
a higher deity or spirit or God, as the case may be. And then we went on to say that every believer should have a prayer altar. We said that any family or believer without the prayer altar is living a dead Christian life. And so it will be very important for everyone who is called by God's name, who knows him, who acknowledges him to pray. And then we also said that it's a meeting place between you and your maker. And we said it must be a quiet place, even at a quiet time. We talked about Jesus Christ going to Gethsemane very early to pray. It's a place where we settle scores and then we move ahead. Or we stay put until we hear the voice of God. Altars are very sacred. And that was why when this man, Uzzah, touched the ark of God unceremoniously, he died. For believers, your place of prayer, your definite time of prayer, your appointed time of communion with God, it's a place of fellowship. It's your altar. And so we encourage every child of God to have a time and a place where we usually go to go. And we also told us that as New Testament believers, your body is the temple of Christ. The Spirit of God dwells in you. So you have become a priest on your own. You first Peter 2 9, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar person called to show for the goodness of God. So as a priest in the New Testament version, you are an oracle and you are bold is a place that represents the presence of God. We said a lot of things, if you could just review the past um, episodes on YouTube, you'll be able to gain more. And two years ago, I did some sermons on altar and that one was a different dimension entirely. I was listening to it recently and I was like, wow, this is different from what I am teaching today. God's word is dynamic. And that's why you can't hear it all. You don't know it all. You haven't seen it all. It's messes are new every morning. And that's why we say great is his faithfulness. Beloved, today we have come to learn on the small, small things that can make your prayer altar weak. And I pray that as we go, the Lord Jesus will grant us grace to be able to know, to see, to understand, and to accept our faults and our mistakes where necessary. In Jesus' name, amen. And I get an amen. When people tell you they have a weak altar, what they amen. are telling you is that when they wake amen. up in the morning, the first thing they do is to check their social media instead of doing their morning prayer. Even if it's 4 a.m. or 5 a.m., they wake up. They go to their phones, they check their social media. Whilst one whose prayer altar is strong will first go down on his or her knee and commit the day into God's hands.
and commune with his maker. Before the person can do any other thing. Please don't unmute your phone. When you do when the world is going on, it sort of distracts. And please those on YouTube, are we still hearing? Because somebody is just telling me no volume on YouTube. I'm sure the admins there will let me know. Praise the Lord. So what I'm saying in essence is that individual will go to social media first before he goes on her knees to God. Number two, if you want to know that you have a weak prayer altar, whenever they say pray, you cannot pray. It is only when you are in church with other people, that's when you can, that's when you pray. And even when you are praying, you are distracted. You are pressing phone and you are praying. It's not like you are pressing phone to tell people it's time for church. You are pressing phone to do other vices. Now, to know, number three, that your prayer altar is weak is when you can only pray in the morning after you have eaten and your belly is full. That's when you know that, let me thank my father. To know that your prayer altar is weak, prayer is always a bore to you. You are always filled feeling boring when they say, let us pray. Or when somebody is praying and leading prayer, you will quickly interrupt the person. Sir, please round up. There's no time. There's no time for what? I don't know. You are always impatient in the presence of God. You want to go. You want to leave. That's when you know that your prayer altar is weak. Now, so a lot of people ask this question. When do we ever stop praying? When do we stop receiving problems? Me, I like to ask them, when will you stop eating? Why do you always have time to eat? Why do you go to the toilet? Why do you have your bath every day? Why do you comb your hair? Why do you watch film? Why do you check your Facebook for feedbacks, your Instagram and your Twitter? Once you are doing all those things, then prayer should be part of your lifestyle. For some people, you are lazy and you lack priority. You cannot prioritize your time. And some people will say, Pastor, how do I pray? Let me tell you how to pray. Write five names of your friends or relatives. Write their problems that you know. If they don't have problems, come and ask me. I will give you the problems and the prayer points. So that you can pray. But it's time, for example, your elder brother is Godwin. Your younger sister is Bosse, and your name is Josephine. By the time you get a minus three of you or five of you, your friend and somebody, list five prayer points you want to pray for each of them that you know that concerns them, including yourself. Sit down and be patient. Look for scriptures that matches those prayer points and start taking them one after the other. By the time you are true with those five people and their prayer points, start thanking God for answering your prayer. Thanking God for answering your prayer. Take a Bible passage and read and talk about the meaning of that passage to God. I bet you once you have done that, 
Before you get up, no matter how fast you are, you would have prayed for 30 minutes. And so when you continue always, you will definitely move on. Your prayer life cannot be dead if you are ready to be an intercessor. Your prayer life cannot be dead if you rely on God rather than your alarm clock. Your prayer life, your altar will not be dead if you run away from sin. Listen to me. Prayer is an armor, is your protection, is your shield. So child of God, I want you to know something. It is a desire from inside that brings results in prayer. You have to admit that, Lord, I have a weak prayer to help me. Help me and cry to God. Cry to God. And then God will help you. We are dropping prayers daily in the WhatsApp group. Dropping prayers for you to look at it, for you to know what we are dealing with. But lots of you will see the prayer, you will pass it by. By the day you find yourself in that problem, that is when you will remember that mama once sent this prayer point. And then you will start looking for it or calling me to send it to you. Meanwhile, I send it to the group. It's the same, the same archive you have that I have. Any prayer point that is sent in the group publicly, whether it is directed at you individually or not, pray it. Pray it and let it go. For adventure, you may be warding off some onslaught in the future. Let me give you an example of somebody whose prayer life is, whose prayer altar is dry. Somebody who is suffering from severe tests. Your lips are dry. You are suffering from severe tests. You need revival. Because a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Now, your faith life is as robust as your prayer life. That's a fact. If your faith life is thin, your prayer life is also thin. Your faith life cannot be higher than your prayer life. So you need to be a mighty prayer warrior. You need to pray because prayer is a weapon. Because when you pray, you activate and keep God's power and God's presence with you 247. And let me tell you, prayer can be stored up for you. There is no too much prayer, but there is too less prayer. What I mean is that nobody would trouble you or blame you for praying too much. But when you don't pray too much, the devil would trouble you and you will even blame yourself. So, child of God, Jesus was a prayer warrior himself. I always talk about the Gethsemane story, Luke chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. He was given to prayer, and his ministry was very successful. The devil always wants to make sure that we don't pray. But Jesus loved spending quality time in prayer and fellowship with the maker, with his father. And he did that mostly 
in the early hours. Prayer should be done before you do any other thing. Jesus was very successful in ministry. What area and what aspect of your life do you want to be successful in? You can cast out the devil, you can heal the sea. You can preach. If your prayer life is not balanced, it's your faith life is not settled, if they bring a case to you, you will be running as casketer. You will be afraid. A case that you can command authority, you sit and get out, leave that young girl alone. You will be telling them go to hospital because you have a weak prayer order. So, child of God, make up your mind. Do you want to be a hot Christian or a cold Christian? Do you just want to be a follow follow Christian, waiting to hear prophecy at the end of the story, or you want to take your life into your own hands? Child of God, your faith life is at risk if you don't pray. You are the mercy of the devil if you don't pray. Satan will make nonsense of a prayerless Christian. In fact, he will stop you from praying. He will bring all manner of things, threaten you. He can even come to your house to misbehave. So you need to fire back your prayer altar. You need to pray. Talk to God and pray. If I were you, I would start firing my prayer altar before we go to the next segment. Talk to God. Sin can make your prayer altar to do indeed. That's why I want to tell us about things that can weaken our prayer altar. When you have iniquity in your heart, child of God, you have malice, hatred. You are living in sin. You have iniquity in your heart. The Lord cannot hear you. Your prayers will be an abomination to God because that is his word. And so when there is iniquity in your heart, your prayer altar becomes weak. When you are praying against fellow Christians, practicing Pentecostal witchcraft, because one pastor left your church and you start praying bad, bad prayer against him, that's Pentecostal witchcraft. Your prayer altar will come down because that was not what it was established for in the first place. As believers, you don't need to compete. Somebody started yesterday and he's doing fine. Let him go well. He's running his own race. You run your own race instead of calling him negative names. You are not the judge. Let God be, let God be the judge. So number two, if you know something, you will know that there are also witches among Christians. What do I mean by that? I have just told us that when you pray negatively against your fellow Christian, you will be paralyzing your prayer altar. If you do fetish things on your prayer altar, then it is no longer a prayer altar. If you are ignorant of some certain things, for example, the way you should comport yourself, the way you should pray, you'll be bringing coals of fire on your own head. So ignorance is another way that you can quench your prayer altar. Before Elijah could defeat the prophets of Baal, 300 of them, 
he had to repair the altar. He had to repair the altar. In repairing the altar, his confidence was in God. Child of God, stay with me. I don't want you to sleep because we are going to round up very soon. So like I told you, ignorance, which is not an excuse according to the lawyers, is also not an excuse in the prayer palace. Because when you are ignorant of some certain things, like Moses or Brando, Uza was ignorant, or he took the ark of God for granted. It cost him his life. Uza's father also took the ark of the covenant for granted. He was familiar with it. The ark was in his house for many, many months or so. He did not even offer any sacrifice. But the ark just went to Obedidion for three months. Obedidion continued offering sacrifices. And everything changed. Child of God, you must know how to service your altar. Some of you go before God in your altar. That's when you teach in God. Your phone is at one place. You pick it anytime you read. It rings. No decorum. Say, Lord, show me mercy. For some people, they can weaken their prayer altar when they go and speak in strange tongues. You know you have not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Why are you going to do ragada? Yedada, yedede. And when you know that it is flesh that is speaking. Such things will put off the Holy Spirit. And it will paralyze your prayer altar. Another thing that also paralyzes prayer altar is laziness. Laziness, procrastination. I will do it later. I will read it later. I will go and pray later. Laziness can paralyze any prayer altar. For example, I usually tell you, when God wakes you up in the night and says, Daughter, wake up. You get up, you go and wee wee. And then you make the mistake of coming back to lie down. Child of God, what you are doing is to weaken your prayer altar. Tonight we are going to ask God for mercy. Somebody who fornicates, commits adultery, your prayer life, your prayer altar is at stake. You marry more than one man or one woman, polygamy, it will paralyze your prayer altar. Because what when will you have time to pray? When you are busy jumping from one woman to the other, just wanting to satisfy them. Who told you that any man can satisfy a woman? Hear me. Child of God, hear me. The truth is this. When a Christian has a weak prayer altar, the devil can come in and come out. The devil can torture that person. The devil knows everything in the Bible. He knows all the modus of randoms of God. Devil can speak in tongues. Devil can be in the choir and sing. They can do all manner of things, but do you know what devil cannot pray? Assuming devil can pray and beg God all this while, then the story would have changed. But that one thing devil cannot do is to pray. And that's why he always discourages you to pray. So child of God, pray. The five minutes more prayer you pray, and change things. Especially at midnight. Don't allow the devil to hinder you from taking your place. Because prayer is the place that gives you authority. 
Quickly, we are rounding up. We are rounding up. Child of God, when you pray, you will experience miracles. When you pray, no devil can harm you. When you pray, no devil can harm you. But you would harm the kingdom of darkness. When you pray, you begin to see miracles. When you pray, you will pull down strongholds. When you pray, you will become holy, holier, and you will become humble in every area of your life. You can't tell me that you are a prayer warrior, yet you don't have character or charisma. No. So Satan knows that the more you pray, the more you have power to overcome. So it will make you to struggle to pray. As many of you that are under the sound of my voice, that are struggling in the place of prayer, I command fire to come on your prayer altars. In the name of Jesus. You will no longer struggle in the name of Jesus. You will no longer struggle in the name of Jesus. For some of you, you are afraid. Fear. Tide of God, no matter the level of your prayer life, it is nothing. Go and see that of Jesus Christ in Matthew 26, verse 36 to 40. If you have sin, your prayer life will die. If you are living in sin, I've told us, so I need you to go down on your knees and say, Lord, help me. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Lord, help me. Revive my prayer life. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from every form of unrighteousness. Lord, I come before you today. I come, oh God, asking for mercy. Oh my God. Lord, show me mercy. Forgive me my sins. Lord, my prayer altar is weak. Revive my prayer altar. Talk to God. Talk to God. Say, Lord, my prayer altar is weak. Calibra Ashita Brazil. Lord, revive my prayer altar. Use Holy Ghost broom to sweep off every cobweb in my prayer life. Holy Ghost broom sweep off every cobweb in my prayer life. Revive my prayer life. Revive my prayer life. And wizard against my destiny. Let it come to an end. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Every attack against my prayer life. Some of you are sleeping when you are supposed to be praying. Every attack against my prayer life backfire in the name of Jesus. You spirit of lukewarmness and weariness, get out of my life now. Father, strengthen my prayer life. Strengthen my prayer altar now. Every evil arrow fired against my prayer life. It's for your mercy, Go back Lord. to the sender. Give me. I pray to you in Jesus. Go back to the sender. I, my name, I bind and I cast out. I'm my God. My God. I bind, I cast out every spirit of compromise from my prayer life. Father, please forgive me. Lord, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me for the things that I have done that have weakened my prayer altar. Father, forgive me, God. Lord, oh, possess me completely with prayer. Let every fiber and every being that I have be possessed with prayer. Oh Lord, my God, 
who is in this service. I command everything in my life that is inviting snares. Let them be taken away. For you, Lord, in my heart. Oh, Lord. Mm. Possess me completely in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Say, I command everything in my life that is inviting the snare of the enemy to be roasted by fire. I bind and I cast out every spirit of prayerlessness. If you are not prayerless, they will not come and give you food. If your altar is not weak, they will not give you food in the dream. Child of God, if your altar is not weak, they will not give you food in the dream. So you need to talk to God. Talk to him, talk to him. Oh Lord, possess me completely. I command everything that is in my life, that is inviting snares to be broken, to be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. I bind and I cast out every spirit of prayerlessness that is occupying any area of my life. I command every strange man causing weakness in my prayer, strange woman, let them be paralyzed in Jesus' name. I release myself from the bondage of prayerlessness in the name of Jesus. I release myself, pray that prayer. I cover my heart, my spirit, my soul, and my body with the fire of God. Come and take your place, O oh Lord, in my life. Come and take your place in my life. Come and take your place. If you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Now is the perfect opportunity. It's the perfect time. All you need to do is to come to God. And if you know that your prayer life, your prayer altar is weak, please stretch forth your hands and say, Lord, I can't lie. I need your help. Thank you, ancient of days. Talk to God. Lord, I am sorry. My prayer altar is weak. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, I am that I am. Ancient of days, take out the glory. Thank you, King of Kings. Be thou exalted in him. Be thy exalted, O Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus, my and everlasting name we pray. Amen. Beloved, what you need to do is to repent and show him that you can't help yourself. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord, visit our life. And activate our prayer line. I visit my prayer life for Lord Jesus. Father, visit my prayer life for Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Visit my prayer life for Lord Jesus. Sarah, if you are online, please round up the prayers and then take our offering and our seed. to revamp our prayer life. I have lots of prayer points that I have sent into the different groups. You are going to have to go and pray them. 
And if you want word of knowledge or prophecy, the prayer band will be having their meeting 10 p.m. tomorrow. After the prayer band meeting, it's just 40, 45 minutes. You can wait behind. If I am on ground, I mean online, I will take the prophecy. This year, God wants us to look beyond prophecies. If you have been given prophecy for January, February, this is March. Line out all those prophecies and start praying them. This year, I will not work without results. Work without results in the name of Jesus Christ. We must have results. And when God comes, don't hesitate to testify. They will not just be shooting our head in the bushes. This year, we are ready to serve God and follow him. And if he has promised us anything, the Lord will show us mercy. Lord, show me mercy, Lord. The Lord will help us. Father, help me, Lord. Show me mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Shand of the Lord. Lord Jesus, Lord, help me. Show me help, Lord Jesus. Send help to me, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your daughter that you have used. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor and adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we come holy before you. Father, we come humbly before you. He said, if my people can humble themselves and pray that you will hear us from heaven. Father, we come humbly before you in your grace. Oh Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that you will forgive us and cleanse us from all our righteousness and iniquity today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cry for mercy, oh Lord. We cry for mercy for each and every one of us, oh Lord, on this prayer line. And even those that are not here, Father, we cry for mercy, oh Lord. We confess all our sins and we pray, oh Lord, that from today, oh Lord, our prayer life will catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace to pray, the anointing to pray. Let it come upon each and every one of us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy firing arrows against that prayer altar from praying, from listening to your word, from attending to the things of God, Father, we speak against them, we cancel and we bind them today by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, for mercy. We ask, O oh God, for your grace today. We say, Holy Spirit, we have no power at home. Please help us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we also pray, O oh Lord, concerning our offerings, those that have given to the Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you bless them, O oh Lord, that you bless them mightily like never before. And the ones, O oh Lord, that want to give and don't have, Father, we pray that you will, by, by, that by your mercy, O oh Lord, you will provide for each and every one, O oh Lord, so that they can give in the mighty name of Jesus. They must secure us. We have prayed today, O oh Lord, we shall not be hearers only of the word, but we shall also be doers of your word, O oh Lord. Your words will have impact. In our lives, that will be able to carry out, oh Lord, the action items, oh Lord, concerning yes. your word in the mighty name of Jesus, so that our life can be transformed for the better. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus. And it shall be to grow your holy name, oh God. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed and we have worshipped. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we posted a testimony about a sister who shared how God gave her her documents in the country where she is. I expected that a lot of us, especially those in the diaspora, will connect to such testimonies. Please, whenever you see anything like that, it takes a lot for the person to come and share their privacy. The best you can do is to congratulate them. We are a share birthdays. You congratulate them. If you are not coming forward to share your own, nobody is grudging you. But for those who decide to share, congratulate them. And then you will see that God's hand will rest upon us I use that as a point of contact. This past week alone, two people, one from America, 
gone from Swaziland. They both got their documentation. Our God is good and is mindful of us. Thank you, Jesus. So like I said, we will all go, share the grace, and then go and pray those prayer points and work on our prayer altar. The reason why prophecies are not being fulfilled is because your prayer altar is weak. Your prayer altar is weak. And God wants most of us to share testimonies. God wants most of us to share testimonies this week. As a matter of fact, some will even share tomorrow. Amen. So I encourage you, join us for the prayer band with your prayer points tomorrow, 10 p.m. It's just for 45 minutes. Pastor Bella will be anchoring it. And after the prayer meeting, <laughs> if the Holy Spirit allow, you are going to get your word. But if per adventure you finish praying all those prayer points this night, you can let me know that you have prayed the prayer points, you have sold your seed. Then when I wake up, even if it's in the middle of the night or early tomorrow, I will drop your word. I want to thank you all and appreciate you for always coming. We are going to have an appraisal, an appraisal Tuesday where I will let all of us talk on what you think, what you want, what are your comments, which way forward, what better way we can do it to make every one of us knowing better. And I know that if you listen to this YouTube message again, your life will be on fire. Your altar will be rekindled in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your people as they go to sleep tonight. Let your presence be upon them. Kola, I pray for you. Those witches that gang up, against your life, against your destiny. That they say they must punish you. Today, I turn the sword against them. Mm -hmm. I turn the sword against them and I begin to cut off their head. Mm -hmm. Every one of them that are gang up against you, Kola, I cut off their head. Mm -hmm. I cut off their head. <laughs> And I decree that they will not hold anything against you and they will not be there anymore. You are free from their demonic counselors. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. No more will they hold anything good that belongs to you. It's released to you now. In Jesus' name. So as I was praying, before the Holy Spirit interrupted with Colors case. I pray for every one of you. When you are you tell your daughter that this year is a year of settlement. You should just relax and let God do his work. Yeah. Mary, I see you having a, another report. Thank you. I see you having another report that is bringing rejoicing to your home. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Remilekun, you will not see shame. Blessing, Odiali, your name will be in the new list. There's another list that is coming out for promotion. You will not be exempted. Hallelujah. You will not be exempted. Mommy, I just see because God says he has heard your prayers. Brother America, God says there will be a fight, but you will win at the end. Do not be afraid. You will win at the end. 
I need to tell love you. God says this is your year. I need to tell somebody may tell you, eh, your delay is being caused by marine spirits. Come and go and pour calories on the in the water. Eh, go and appease them. Don't go and do any such rubbish. Get your deliverance in the presence of God. God mm -hmm. is the edge of principalities and power. So if you stand with Jesus, you stand against all. Amen. The reason why some of us are looking for shortcuts when our prayers are not being answered is because our prayer altars are weak. The shortcut that will bring problem to you, may you not see it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bukola Dotun Jamal. Bukola, you are the next person to testify. Sister Shema, God says, don't be afraid. Daddy will regain everything. Amen. He will regain everything. Strength will come to his body. Strength will come to his hands and his legs. Before you leave here, Daddy will be strong again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Docas, I hear the Lord says, fear not. Docas, fear not. Debbie and John, I hear the Lord says, congratulations. Debbie and John, I hear the Lord says, congratulations. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. I hear the Lord says, let anger die. Don't entertain anger. Mommy, Abby, a miraculous hand that will catapult you out of this country is at work. It's not even the country that they are expecting or you are expecting. I see somewhere like Germany. God will do it. And then people will be surprised. Brother Ineji, Don't mean, think man? that don't think that victory is not possible. In fact, you already have victory. Amen. You have victory over the demons of your father's house. Amen. You have a victory. The fact that you are alive shows that you have victory. Amen. Dan Lamy and Josephine, God is visiting you again. And this time around, whoever tries it, they will get their their hands born and their head chop off. Just make sure you pray together as a, as a couple. Ezekiel Sunday, every power that is holding your finances down, making you to think, I release you from those powers. Powers that want to make you to do like an unbeliever. Powers that want to make you to start thinking of, ah, maybe I should just drink and let, and let the sorrow go. Those powers are destroyed. But whatever you are going through is a test. You will come out secured. Everything you need for your baby, God will provide. Let your heart be at peace. Fatima, I hear the Lord says it is well with your soul. They cannot win. They will not prosper. They will only win when you let them win, Fatima. Uncle Horace, it is turning and turning and turning to your tongue. Very soon, earlier than you expect, this very moment, things that you are expecting, and even the one that you are not expecting will settle for your good. The Lord says, continue to trust me. Don't give up. Omar Wumi, long time no come. Thank God for the Holy Spirit bringing you. 
for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. All these scriptures and pray for nine days. Pray in the scripture nine times for nine days. Luke 1, 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. My conception is possible. My promotion is possible. Keep on saying it in prayer and fasting for nine days. At the end of the nine days, you will testify. Don't doubt it. Bad kiss. Zara. Bad kiss. The Lord says the delay is taken away. The delay is taken away. What the enemy turned for, the plan for evil, God has turned it around for your good, Balkis. The Spirit of God is so fearful that I don't know. He loves his people. Please don't forget to pray for Nigeria. Tell God we don't want to see seven years of war. We don't want to see any form of war. Let God intervene. Brother James Billia, arise and eat. The good in that office is your portion. Locate it and enjoy it. All will be well. Sister Jenny, Jenny, if you know weapon fashion against your family shall prosper. God has given you power. Amen. Luke chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. He has given you power. Amen. Use your power in the name of the Lord. Don't be lazy about it. Jerusha, Jerusha. Congratulations. All that you need, God is bringing it this week. And there shall be no evil. Sister Joy Pawi, I see a new light. Amen. I see a consolation light. Amen. A light that will be promotion. Amen. The Lord says, I should tell you not to leave him or forsake him. Because his plans for you are bigger than you know. Don't leave him. Don't forsake him. Because he has plans for you. Amen. It's okay in the hear God says that I have silenced them. I have closed their mouth. You have become Amen. a terror to them. You Amen. have become a terror to them. Amen. So they cannot whether you stay or you don't stay, they will not be able to do anything. Amen. And when it comes to your matter, they will be afraid. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. See, that promotion, between now and April, expect that promotion. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It will miraculously enter your hands. Amen.